Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and if you're looking for some cost-effective ways to celebrate, how about a couple's massage at home? We have massage therapist Janie Sprouse and Tanya Kesey joining me now. Uh, so, first of all, tell me, can you really get a great massage just from your, your partner or your spouse? It's not quite the same as going to a pro. It's, no, <laughs> it's never the same as going yeah. to a pro, but yes, you can. It's very easy to do at home. Um, you're not going to be expecting to get a full two-hour massage at Why home. Why not? But <laughs> because they don't have the training yeah. and the endurance built up, but mm -hmm. it is possible. Okay, uh, and massage has a ton of benefits. Let's talk about that. Yes, um, so the benefits are stress reduction. You, um, Especially if you're massaging your spouse, um, it b helps build a bo it's a bonding moment. Mm -hmm. um, your muscles, you know, if they're hurting, obviously it helps relieve any tension in those. So, okay. And biggest things we need to know: techniques to be able to give the best massage that we can. So the big or accept the best yeah. massage that we can. <laughs> well, to accept the best massage, you need to fully relax and trust your your partner. And communication is a big key. So I would ask her, obviously, you know, is the pressure okay? And make sure that they're comfortable before you ever start. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to relax. Um, obviously, you don't want to do bright lights, dim the lights, or turn them off and light some candles so that you can still see what you're doing. Set the ambiance. You know, yes, set the ambiance. Okay, well, show me a couple moves that I can okay. do. My, my go to move is the elbow. So which we're going to have right Jamie to lay down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes, and don't use the elbows because you can hurt yourself All or right. your, you yeah. can hurt your partner. Okay, so one thing that you can do that's, um, one thing you want to avoid is using your thumbs because you're going to wear yourself out. And mm -hmm. that's what people do is they'll get in here yeah. and they'll do this and after two minutes they're like, I hurt, I'm tired. So avoid doing that, especially since you're not used to giving massages. So a good way is compression. Um, so you can go just start walking up and I'm not using my thumbs, I'm just using the palm of my hand. Relax body weight. Yes. So how's I that am pressure? Oh, so jealous right now, by the way. <laughs> this looks delightful. <laughs> nice. And how long would you suggest? I mean, before the average person starts getting tired. Um, I don't know. Everyone. Everybody's different. If, Everybody is different. <laughs> if you're doing the relaxed body weight and doing the compressions open like that, you should be able to go five, ten minutes okay. comfortably doing that. At least. And then once she starts showing you the actual movements that you can do, that will be able to help you go a little bit longer but at the same time not wear yourself out. Well perfect. Out. Thank you guys so much for showing us how it's done and uh, to check it out if you don't remember all this just go to our website that's fox21news.com.